All right, welcome back to Bayou Time. And uh, if you're just joining us, obviously we had the Canada segment there where they were cooking up some wonderful pork loin, making me hungry now since I haven't eat, eaten uh, supper just yet. And the fried fish looked well um, as well. And um, we hope you enjoyed that segment. Every Tuesday night uh, is the Cooking with Canada segment, Canada's in the Kitchen. Uh, with that, we have some time to open up the phone lines now, 879-1231. We're taping live again on Tuesday night. It's about 7.30 or so if you're just joining us. There's the number on the bottom of your screen if you'd like to get involved. At the beginning of the program, I had teased that we would open up the phone lines and talk about the uh, Casey Anthony trial. Uh, but we had an interesting discussion with Lafouche Parish President Charlotte Randolph that uh, lasted some time and it was an important issue to a local area so we wanted to make sure we got that local issue out to you uh, as well and so we, we had the discussion with her uh, as she gave her monthly update regarding the permitting process and procedures and things of that nature but at this point in time we would like to take your phone calls we know while we had uh, Parish President Randolph on we had a lot of you that wanted to call in to discuss that very issue uh, that being the uh, Casey Anthony trial and and whether or not you think that if that trial was was here in Louisiana if the same verdict would have occurred again the difference uh, you know there's some different laws as well but 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 you know the big thing is this was such a highly publicized trial and cameras are allowed in the courtroom in Florida in Louisiana they are not cameras are not allowed in the courtroom maybe you think that's a good thing maybe you don't agree with that issue and you think Louisiana courts should allow cameras uh, we'd like to know your opinion on that whether or not you think that had an effect on the trial one way or the other you know I've heard a lot of people talking today at the courthouse about the conspiracy theory uh, that now jurors all can write books and things on who they thought uh, or who they think actually committed the murder. Maybe you, you have that opinion. Or maybe you think she was not guilty. Uh, we want to hear from you. Let's pick up the phone lines now and uh, see what you would like to comment about. Thank you for holding. Welcome to Bayou Time. Hey, Jason. Hey. Hey, I wanted to let you know that uh, I think that was wrong what she did. Okay. I think she should. They should have found her guilty. All right. I think. I think they would have. They should have found her guilty, and let her face his charges, because I think that was wrong what she did to that child, and that was her only. That was her child, and I think they should have did something with her, and hung her, and do something with her because I think that was very wrong what she did to that little girl. Well. And I think they they should have found her guilty. If it would have been in Terrebonne Parish, it would have been a different ball game. Because well, they don't play it down here in Terrebonne Parish. And I think, I think they paid the lawyers and they, play, it, and they paid the judges to do what they had to do for her to not face charges. Okay. All right. So you think of this trial, do, do you think the media had anything to do with the outcome? Or do you just think uh, the jury just didn't find her guilty? I, I, think, I, think the media ha I think the media had something to do with it, too. Okay. I, I, think, I think a lot of people had something to do with it so she don't face charges. All right. And I think that's really wrong. She should have. She should have, they should have gave her the death penalty. All right. Thank you for the call. All right. Thank you. All right. Obviously, you know, if, if, if somebody did, in fact, commit that crime, well, then they should pay for it. Uh, but the jury in this case found that she was not guilty. And, uh, you know, she, she can't be found guilty at this point in time. And, uh, you know, whether you think she got away with it or not, that's what we'd like to hear. Uh, let's go to the next caller. Hello. Welcome to Bayou Town. Hello, Jason. Yes, sir. How you doing tonight? Doing fine. I'm watching this mess. Yeah. Uh, bruh, this woman did it. Okay. And there's no, no cruel, no nothing about it. Uh, I think she's gonna get some street justice later on. <laughs> because look, be one of my family. They they wouldn't get away with it. This woman is no good. Uh, her character shows all that. I don't know what these jurors were t thinking about. This, she's not mentally ill because she's very smart. She knows what face to put on at the right time. But the camera caught her several times putting on the wrong face. Okay. And as far as blaming your parents, for murdering your child, 
That's, uh-uh, that don't go in my book. I mean, this woman, I'm pretty sure she did it. Well, and then, and then that's an interesting point or, or an interesting, the uh, well, wait, wait, use of the term that you used. You said you were pretty sure she did it. Remember, a prosecutor, the state, has the highest burden of proof uh, on any trial exactly. that they'll ever be. Uh, and, 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 and murder is often said, and it's often discussed that sometimes, and maybe this is a bad thing to say, but a lot of people say, and a lot of attorneys say, if you want to commit a crime, murder is probably the easiest one to get away with uh, in terms of it because the penalty is so high and the burden of proof is so high on the exactly. state. Exactly. I know where you're coming from. Yeah. I know where you're coming from. So you think, but look, uh, you, you think you she's something. guilty based upon what you saw and you watched? Right. Okay. Let me tell you something. I have two grandchildren. And if one of them grandchildren are missing for two days and I can't talk to <laughs> uh, them. I hear you. Yep. I'll be searching for them, bro. Mm-hmm. And I mean it. Uh, I, I, I agree I mean, with you. I'll, I'll be darned if my child goes missing for 31 days and I not say anything to anybody. You're right. <laughs> that's right. And I can't blame it on my mama or my daddy. Because I killed my kid. That, that's just wrong, bro. You see, California has them laws like that, too. And Louisiana, she wouldn't have made it, bro. You know that. All right. Thank you for the call. Sure let me get, let me get, thing. let me get to the other callers. I appreciate it. We're going to have more on this issue tomorrow night as we didn't have a whole lot of time to, to take phone calls tonight because we had some important local issues to discuss. But for the time being, before we turn it over to uh, sports, I know they had a lot of people calling today, so I stayed a little while so we could take a couple of your phone calls. Hello. Welcome to Buy Your Time. Yes, I was wondering about this case right here. I yeah. Mean, it's, it's, it's sad that that girl got away with it. I mean, I'm a mom of two. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And what, what what's going on in the world today is not right. And I hope her conscience really gets to her because I know I can't do without my kids. You know, and, and it's really sad that she's got she's got to get away with it. Yeah, I mean, if, if, if you watched a lot of this trial from, from what a lot of people are telling me, because I didn't have the opportunity to watch, you know, everything involved, but over the holiday, obviously, you know, they showed a lot of the closing arguments and things, and you were able to kind of get caught up on the facts. You know, there were some, some things there that as an attorney I see, well, I can see where somebody might see reasonable doubt, but, boy, I tell you, to not report her missing for 31 days surely raised your suspicion. And, uh, you know, I think her acts kind of showed some things that, that a lot of people, it raises eyebrows to a lot of people. But it just shows you that the burden of proof, you know, again, it, it's not a preponderance of the evidence. It's a beyond a reasonable doubt, but that doesn't mean it's beyond all doubt. And, right. uh, you know, I, I, I question whether or not the cameras in the courtroom and the high publicity of the trial, if that had an outcome on this case. Uh, because let's face it, now, now everybody can talk about conspiracy theories. Right. Uh, who did who did it? Right. You know, conspiracy theories are popular. Now now right. somebody, you know, what people don't understand is sometimes jurors can profit from this. Right. Uh, and, and now you might have a juror who's out there gonna write a book and although they gave up, you know, two months of their lives in this trial, this might end up writing a blank check for them for the rest of their life. Uh, there, there could be a movie. Well, I think there will be a movie. I hope there is, and I hope it comes to the point where she she really has a conscience because if yeah. she doesn't, then she shouldn't have any kids at all. You so so let me ask you this. If there is a movie or a book deal, uh, if she ends up taking any profit from that, in other words, if, if, if she signs some rights and she does a movie and she takes profit on that, uh, are you going to hold that against her? Do you think that shows she's some guilt? I, yeah, or, or, I really or, do think that she would be guilty about it because you know what? If you got to make a movie about your child's life that is, has been missing for 31 days yeah. and you didn't say anything about it, mm -hmm. I think her conscience will kill her. You right. know what I'm saying? I hope to God that it does because she deserves it. Yeah. Who, who would ever kill a kid? You know what I'm saying? They're sick pedophiles and rapists and murderers. Are, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. do not kill your kid. 
You know, that, that has no moral. She has no kind of conscience. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't live with my, without my kids. All I know is I hope something really bad happens to her, but I can't say that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not God and I can't judge anybody, but I hope something really, she gets what she deserves. She okay. really does. Thank you for the call. We appreciate you sharing your opinion. Uh, thank you. Uh, obviously, it's, it's an issue that uh, anybody with children uh, was following this case. And, and because, you know, the, the cameras were allowed in the courtroom, it, 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 it stayed the media. And then even before the trial started, you know, there was some publicity about the, uh, the missing, uh, you know, two-year-old or whatever, the, the toddler who was missing for some time. Uh, that was played out in the media. Uh, and, and so it had some pretrial publicity and then it, it, it kind of snowballed and you know it, it's going to be something that's going to be talked about for some time it's this decades you know OJ Simpson trial if you will and uh, th that's why I question whether or not the, 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 the cameras in the courtroom have any role in it maybe it didn't uh, we all know that a death occurred and we all know that the, 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 the child Kaylee uh, definitely died the question is who did it and uh, the state of Florida said it was this lady behind me, and the defense said it wasn't her, uh, and the jury said it wasn't either. So, um, you know, we'll continue with more of this discussion tomorrow. I know a lot of you wanted to discuss it because although it's a national issue, you know, it, 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 it is a national issue and it's been consumed in the media, so I know a lot of you want to talk about it. And uh, we'll continue with that discussion tomorrow on Bayou Time. I just wanted to make sure I could take a couple of your phone calls since we had uh, Lafouche Parish President Charlotte Randolph on and then we had our Kanadas cooking in uh, the kitchen with Kanadas on earlier. Wanted to make sure we get to that and, uh, and I wanted to make sure some of you had the opportunity to voice your opinions or concerns. Uh, and we'll do that tomorrow night on Bayou Time. I'll be filling in for Martin tomorrow. So uh, we'll take more of your phone calls on this very issue tomorrow. David Miller is going to be back up with sports uh, right, right after this next break. Uh, he'll take you home with all the local sports uh, media that we have going on. And uh, with that, I also do want to thank everybody once again uh, for all the calls that uh, you know my family has received uh, regarding my dad's uh, issues. And uh, everything is fine. He's doing he's doing really really great right now. Really wonderful. And he intends to be back on the show on Thursday night. So uh, he's back at the office. Been doing a lot of catch up work. So unless he has something pop up at the office that he needs to handle, he'll be back on the set of Bayou Time taking your phone calls on Thursday night. So we look forward to having him back on the set once again. So with that, uh, I'll bid you adieu. Good night. And uh, David Miller will take you home with sports right after the break.